Hey guys, let me place you here real quick. Um, okay, so today I will be doing a um, first impressions uh, product review type of thing. So this is going to be my video, my first impressions on the um, Diva Cup. So um, let me get into this real quick. Um, so I purchased my Diva Cup at... Um, vitacost.com it's a great website they have a bunch of products with great deals um, so if you want to check it out I have a video on it and um, I am actually showing you guys what I bought from the website and how much everything costs so if you're interested um, there's also like a coupon code so you guys could do that if you'd like um, so I got mine from the vitacost.com and it cost $29.95 um, so less than 30 bucks um, and here is the box. So this is the box it came with. Um, um, I got the Diva Cup um, model number two right here. So hopefully you guys can see the box real well. Um, so anyway, um, this says it's clean, comfortable, convenient, um, reusable, economical, and eco-responsible. Proven, reliable protection, no leaks and 100% silicone, um, no rubber, plastic, or BPA. So that's what it says on the back. Then um, this has two models. Model number one is for women under 30 years old who have never delivered vaginally or by C-section. And model number two, which is the one I chose for myself, is for women over 30 years old and or for women who have delivered vaginally or by C-section. So two models. Um, sizing doesn't vary that much. It's just a little bit different. Um, model one from model two. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open the box um, and I've already used it. So here is what comes inside. Of course, the detailed instructions on how to use it, how long, um, frequently asked questions, how to insert it, all that kind of stuff. So all this is comes in the detailed instructions right here. I'm not going to um, talk much about the instructions because you guys, if you decide to get the product, you can definitely use it so um, or read it. Anyway, then it came in here and also it came with this little pin right here. It has a flower and it says Diva. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of cute. You can pin it somewhere if you'd like or, um, you know, whatever. So, and... It came with a bag. This is the bag it came with. It's really cute. I love the color. I love the print. Um, tiny, you know, not huge, just little bag. Um, and it's really nice and convenient to store your cup in there. You can, you know, it's not a tampon. Nobody knows what's inside. You can um, carry it with you in your purse. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Anyway, then the cup itself. Here's the cup. I'm going to go ahead and show up closer. So this is the cup. Hopefully you can see it. Um, I don't know how the lighting is, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, hopefully you can see the cup. Um, so this is the cup. It has um, marks on the inside for milliliters and ounces just to kind of measure how much you've had. It has a little pointy tip right here. Um, right here you can cut it if it's too long for you but I didn't cut it I didn't feel like I had to anyway the way you use it is you just fold it like this squeeze it all together and there's two methods you can squeeze it or the way you can fold it but this is the one I'm, I did um, so you squeeze it all together then you go ahead and just fold it in half and there we go so this is what it looks like and you go ahead and you just insert that once you inserted the cup, you um, need to rotate it like 360 degrees clockwise, I think, or something like that to make sure that it opens and it's in the right position. So basically, um, as far as the cup goes, it's really soft and really cool. I like it. Um, I used it my last cycle, with my last cycle, and uh, I used it on the second day, uh, which I usually have like a heavy... Uh, pretty heavy um, flow. So 
I went ahead and used it. Um, it did take me a couple tries to kind of find the right spot to have it in. At first, I didn't put it too far because I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to take it out. So, and I could kind of feel it. So then I kind of read the instructions and put it again and it was perfect. Um, you don't really feel it much. It's better than tampons, better than pads. Um, you know, you don't have all those chemicals in you or anything like that. So uh, basically that's what I did. I kept it on for about five hours. Um, then, um, and you can keep it for way longer. It's like 10 or 12 hours. I don't remember. It's on the end, the instructions. Um, so I kept it and my fear was how I'm going to take it out. I was kind of worried about that, but... Um, all I had to do actually is just bear down a little bit, kind of like push a little on it and it would put, pull, it would bring, the push would bring the cup down and I could easily just grab the tip and just pull it out and I pulled it out carefully. There, nothing leaked, nothing came out and just wash the cup and you can reinsert it if you need to, whatever you need to do. So basically, um, it was really nice, um, the first try. Uh, was awesome. I'd say I didn't have any leaks with it at all. Um, I put a, I placed a pad just to kind of see and there was nothing. So no leaks, nothing. It was amazing. As long as you insert it the right way and you kind of put it in place the right way, then you should be just fine. So uh, for my first impressions, I would give it a thumbs up. I'm definitely going to use it more and um, I will do my final product review later on, but this is just the first impression. So I'm gonna show you the cup one more time. So this is the cup. Here's my hand. So it's it's not large, it's, it's cool. Um, so yeah, there's the cup. So thanks so much for watching you guys and I will be talking to you later, bye.